What's up guys, Sean Logan, the fan of a flyer here, back with another video. Today was Black Friday, so I went and I, you know, bought some stuff. Because uh, everything was pretty much at a discount. I got this one terabyte hard drive, my passport, Western Digital, for $50. One terabyte. Anyway, moving, moving that aside, this is for this is not for, for you guys. I'm going to be unboxing this. This is the Nintendo 2DS. Something I just picked up for like light gaming now and then, like if if if, if I'm on a bus heading a long way away or on a train or something, or like um, you know at night just getting in some wee hour sleep, and yeah, basically it's the Nintendo 2DS. Now the reason I picked this up is because one, I could not afford the Nintendo Switch, or the Nintendo 3DS, or the Nintendo 2DS XL, which is the 2DS XL that folds. Uh, so yeah, I got this one. And that doesn't really matter to me because thing is, from my experience, Nintendo consoles are tanks. My Nintendo Wii back home still works. My Game Boy still works. And I bought my Game Boy when I turned 10. 10. My Game Boy is turning t turning 10 years old. And for a for a for a video game console, that is like grandpa time now. So yeah, I picked this up. Um, they had a bundle with which came with Mario Kart 7 in the box. Only problem is, um, they were sold out. However, the game was only 20 bucks. This was 80 bucks. So together, that was 100 bucks. I just picked this up. So yeah, basically, I think from my experience, the game is gonna be pre-installed on the console. So then I can just keep the disc inside the console itself and just toss it in my bag and in and out like that. So yeah, um, I played the first Mario Kart on the Wii and that was so much fun. I just could not get enough of that back in the day. So yeah, this is what I picked up. And also this is like, um, it's it's classic Mario Kart. This isn't like Mario Kart um, 8 or Mario Kart Infinity, however it's that supposed to be with, with like that newfangled hovering technology crap. This is just straight up kart racing. So yeah, because the graphics in this thing are fairly decent for a handheld system. So yeah, we're gonna be checking this out. Actually, let's open the game first, because why not? Let's do this. Alright, that's cut. Uh, yes. Alright, this is the cartridge. Eey. Yep, that's it in there. So, this is just an instruction manual. This is the disc itself. Oh, these are tiny. These are, these are yeah, they're right the same size as the the original Nintendo DS cartridges, but they don't have this hump over here. But other than that, it's about the same. I, I, I remember the Game Boy Advance, the cartridges were about ye big, like about that big, and the pins were a lot bigger because they slot into the console and they stay there. And I think it's because of that you had to blow on it because of dust and shit. So yeah, basically, um, I'm just gonna put this back inside, like so. All right, so that's Mario Kart 7. Now for the ugh, for the main reason you guys are here, the console. Okay, open that, and that, and that, and there. All right, I'm just gonna put that out of the way. So this is basically just a quick start guide. And oh, wait, um, these cars are required to play the built-in application. I'm gonna put that aside for now. Anyway, so this is the quick start guide. Uh, quick start, see page two. Huh? Table of contents. Uh, huh. Charge the system and then turn it on. Connect your system to the AC. Um, and, uh, so yeah, it also comes with the stylus, that's nice. Uh, um, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, and it also gets Wi-Fi, so I can play online. I can race with other people from around the world through wi through the magic of Wi-Fi, which is pretty dope. It's got a slot for the cartridge, AC adapter. I guess it's for charging. It also has a headphone jack for headphones, I believe. All right, let's put this out of the way. This is our charger. Mm. Oh, yeah. And another neat thing you'll notice is this. It comes with this like flappy, flappin' thing, which is great for storage and for travel. 
None of the end, it's just just straight up. Huh, what is that? Like that is definitely not micro USB. Oh, it's a proprietary cable. Ah, classic Nintendo, classic. All right, now here is what you came for. Like the song says, Hey me, this is what you came for. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, here it is. It's nice and red. It's, it's got nice red accents to it, which is pretty cool. A, B, X, Y. I got your uh, D-pad there, your analog stick over there, and you've got your bumpers over here. It's also got a camera. You have to clamp these down together to take a picture with that there camera. That's where your cartridge goes, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, then at the back here, yes, this is your your magic flute. I'm joking, it's just a pen. Then you put an SD card in here. Huh. Does it come with one built-in? Ah, uh, yes. Wow, four gigs. All right, so this comes with an SD card built-in, thankfully, which is a really nice, which is a really nice touch. Uh, thanks a lot, Nintendo. But I'm actually surprised that it requires an SD card because in my experience, the very first Game Boy, all the storage was just straight up on the cartridge. There was no external storage to be speaking of. You just turn it on, you put the cartridge in, and you're playing, that's it. That's immediately how it was back in my day. I don't know what's changed, why it's changed. I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse, but it has changed. And this, we've got the volume rocker over here. This feels just like how it did on the Game Boy. Um, yeah, my, my one gripe about this thing is it feels a bit plasticky though, but you know, that that's okay. Like I bought this for 20 bucks and it's, it's not, I, I'm not going to be playing no Call of Duty or player unknown battlegrounds or Fortnite on this thing. This is literally just for Mario Kart and Super Mario. So yeah, let's turn this, this guy on. How do you turn this thing on? Okay, let's sleep. Huh. Mm. It's a volume rocker. So let's, oh, there it is. My bad. Okay. Push it. Is it powering on? Oh, yeah, it is powering on. There's a LED there. There we go. That's nice. Oh, okay. Select a language. I think I'll grab that stylus. Go with English. Okay. I'm going to crank up the volume. Please configure the... Configure the... Uh, the following settings. If you are a child, please have a parent or guardian configure this for you. Okay. I'm not a child. A note regarding the display. Although the 2DS can run all 3DS software, it cannot display 3D um, images or video. Yeah, that's true. I don't care about that. Mm. References to the 3DS are in our user agreement um, in the system software. Relate to your 2DS as well. Yeah, okay. Date and time. All right. All right. What is today? Um, today is the 24th, Black Friday. Um, 24th of, hang on, I can just go like that. 24th of November. And that presets 2015. That's so wrong. Yep, that's about it. Right now, the current time is 7.52 in the p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 7.52. All right. Late in time and save. That's good. Now, profile. Enter a nickname. Hmm. Actually, no, never mind. I'm going to put my real name. All right. So, now it's asking me for my birthday, which I'm going to put in right now. Okay, now I'm asking for my region, as can be seen over there, which I shall now enter. Now scroll down to see Canada. All right. Region British Columbia. All right. All right. Now that that's out of the way, we can configure internet settings. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, accept. I accept. Settings saved. Um, might as well just go through the setup right now. Hello there, it looks like you haven't set up an internet connection on your 2DS. I'm here to give you a hand. 
Thanks. The music is very really intuitive. It's nice. Next. First thing you want to do is tap new connection. Alright, boss. If you're not sure what to do, tap me with the stylus and I'll help you out. Alright, boss. New connection. Mm. You'd like me to help you go to your internet connection setup. Mm. Nah, sorry, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, search for an access point. That's what I used to use on the Wii. That's the same sound. Alright, access point found. Um, no, not Aditya's Wi Fi. Yep, that's my Wi Fi. Now my password. I'm just gonna take it away and enter my password. Alright, that's done. Okay, you can do that. Now it'll test the connection. This is the same sound effect that used to play on the Wii when you were connected to the internet. Alright, so I connected to the access point, so that's good. So hopefully the password is good. Now this should just be a matter of a minute or so. Alright, connection test successful. Nice. Um, might as well just add, a new, uh, add some newer connections as well. Actually, no, sorry, never mind. Um, I'm, I'm good. I can always add these other connections later. Parenting, banner, parental controls, alright. Next. Do not set up. I have no parent over here who will badger me. That's it, before the system is set up, uh, yes, before I can let you go, how about I tell you more about the system? Alright. There are a few key differences between the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo 2DS that you'll want to be aware of. Alright. First off, the 3D images cannot be viewed on the 2DS. Okay, how many times are you going to tell me this? I'm honestly getting pissed off at them for telling me this. It's making me feel like I bought an inferior co console. Like, seriously. Knock it off. Don't worry, you can still use all your 3DS software. It'll simply run in 2D. Stop reminding me. Sleep mode is a good way to take a break and it helps battery last longer. Alright. I know, it's this button down here. Not sleep mode. Alright. Wireless communication. Sometimes you need to turn on wireless communication, turn off wireless if you're on a plane. Next. Uh huh. Wireless communication can be toggled on and off via the icon in the top left corner of the home screen. Alright. Notifications. Wait, there's, there's more I want to tell you. But rather than make you read it now, I'll send it to notifications. Check there for more detailed info. Alright. That's it, you're good to get started. Your system is not being configured. Press home to open the home menu. Alright. I think I can put the stylus back now. Thing is definitely doing stuff. All right, there it is. Theme shop. With themes, you can customize the design and sounds of your home menu. Okay. Next, change themes. Change theme. All right. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, this is really cool. Like, the, it cycles through the screen. Alright, um, I'm just gonna go with basic red for now. New notifications have arrived. About the home button. Alright, close. There's nothing inserted into the game card slot. AR Nintendo games. That's the game. Super Mario Brothers 2. That's nice. It has a camera as well. That's the game card slot. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's health and safety. All right. Why is that showing 3DS? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Software suspended. Press home to resume. Tap close to close the software. Right, let's close. Let's close. Ah, close. Alright. Closing software. Mm, can I s okay, so this can also be used with my finger. That's nice. Ah, wait, no. I'm just gonna stick to this for now. Alright, create folder. Actually, no. I'm, uh, how, how do I kill the folder? 
settings, delete. All right, let's try out Mario. New Super Mario Brothers 2. I'm gonna put this side away. I don't know how much battery life this, this guy gets though. Welcome to Brothers 2, All right, next. Every coin you collect will add it to your coin total. Grab as many as you can and watch your coin total rise, all right? As you uh, add your collected coins to your global coin total. Receive updates about the global coin total and receive Mario related promotions from Nintendo. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, activate spot pass for new Super Mario Bros. 2. Extra data will be created on an SD card. Okay, why not? Do not turn the system off or remove the SD card. Alright, nice. Okay. This touchscreen isn't very responsive to. I'm just gonna lower this for a second. This touchscreen isn't very responsive to um, human input, though. I don't care, sorry. Right. Solo play. New game. If my memory holds, it should be just like the first Super Mario Brothers. I played the original 1980s version on the. Why are they, why are they dressed like squirrels? Why are you dressed like a squirrel? Is it Mario supposed to be a plumber? That wasn't me. I don't like where this is going. Bowser! I did not see that coming. Why do they always kidnap Peach? What are their problems? Alright, so that's where he is. Ah, okay. So, I go A. Yes, let's go! World 1, I've got 5 Marios. Alright, so, B's jump. Alright, so, it's sensitive. The longer you hold B, the higher he jumps. Okay, A is also jump. What's this? Yeah, die. Ah, yeah, you land on those panels. Mushroom! Die. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Instant moolah. Ah, flame! Ah, no! Must have it! Yes! Fireball! 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 No! Ah, die! Fireball. Aha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Wait, what? Okay, this literally made me a blockhead. Really brings me it really brings a whole new meaning to the phrase incompetent brickhead. So I guess it means that as I go along I make money. I can get used to this. Oh, and also, the more coins you get, you get extra lives. No, I lost my free moon. All right, so that's become a Mario flag now, just like the old game. Ah, gremlins! All right, and this is how the crouches, the D straight down. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Alright, uh, that's some cash. Fireball. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Fireball. Yeah!
I'm getting the hang of this. Alright. Money. Fireball. Shoot. Fireball. That was a nice toss. What's under the money? Fireball. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I know blockhead this time. Fireball. Soar through the air like an eagle. Okay, wait. Love, mom. Hmm. 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 There we go. Got the hang of that. Fireball, 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 fireball. Fireball! Fireball! Yes. Oh my god! Alright. And... Now we run up... Why though? No? Oh! It's different. If you jump higher, the flag goes higher. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so I clear the first stage. Now we can move on. But I'm going to tackle this later. Because it's the end of my video. This has been a 23 minute video already. So, yeah. I'm just going to put an end to this right now. I'll probably play some Mario Kart 7 now though. Because I'm dead. Uh, I just got back from downtown. I'm exhausted. I want to sleep probably soon. So, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Click over there to subscribe. Click over there for the giveaway. The giveaway is concluding next week. Click there and there for two other videos. Until the next one, Sean Logan, the fan of Apply, signing out. Goodbye.